Okay, so a few heads up before I get into this. Um, this is going to be a very politically incorrect video and a very honest video. And I feel it's something that needs to be raised. Um, I want to talk about the politicisation of the world of acting. I was going to say Hollywood. Um, and I'm predominantly talking about Hollywood, but it goes beyond that. Um, just came across an article and admittedly I didn't read all of it, but... Um, the gist of the article is basically um, an Asian American reporter who's complaining about what she argues is the lack of um, diversity in Hollywood. Um, Rebecca Sun, I believe is her name. Um, and it just got me thinking of the wider issues of where I believe this debate is going. Now, I have listened to the point of view of people who have raised these sort of issues um, and I've tried to take on board this. But to be quite honest, I'm getting a little bit fed up with it because first and foremost, the world of acting is about entertainment. OK, um, most films are directed as a format of entertainment, as escapism. People pay money to go to the movie theatre, the cinema, as we call it in the UK, to watch a film to escape. Right. I'm a big film fan, as you can see. Film collection there. Um, when I watch a film, I'm not paying attention to what ethnicity the actors are. Obviously, it might fit into the storyline. But starting from, broadly speaking, the Oscars so white controversy at the start of this year, and I appreciate this debate has been going on longer than that, but it's really been highlighted this year. There has been a politicisation of the world of acting uh, to an extent that I have not seen before. Politicisation slash race baiting, I would call it. And I'm getting a little bit tired of overprivileged people whinging about their lot. Um, this might be a controversial thing to say, but frankly, I'm getting a little bit tired of some actors and actresses whinging about not getting exactly the roles that they want. Look, the fact of the matter is, this idea that all white actors always get the roles they want is misguided. There's many good white actors out there who will always be in secondary roles. Um, and they're good actors, nothing wrong with their acting, but they're always in secondary roles. Maybe they don't have the looks, or maybe they don't have the connections, whatever it might be. Um, the, f the fundamental arguments, I'm going to address a few of them here. Um, they tend to go along the lines of it, and it's this kind of socially progressive mindset of everything has to be about quotas. Like, say, for example, I, I don't know what the proportion of Asian Americans is, but certainly the majority of America is still white. And that's not a racist statement. It's just a statement of fact. Um, granted, America is a more diverse society than it was 20, 30 years ago, but it is still majority white. So proportionally, there's going to be more white actors. That's just, you know, that reflects a proportion of society. I do think that there should be um, diversity within Hollywood. I agree with that. But I don't agree that there should be this sort of quota whereby there should be an exact proportion of actors representing the exact proportion of society. That's stupid. Um, I just think quotas in general are a stupid idea. The key should be opportunity. I believe firmly in opportunity. Everyone should have opportunity regardless of their ethnicity or background. But this idea of having quotas is dumb. And I believe it was pointed out that there is... 4% of roles on American TV are taken up by Asian Americans, who constitute 5% of the population. So it's more or less the same as the proportion to the population anyway. That's not a big deal. It's, it's a barely noticeable discrepancy between the actual population and the representative population. Now, I can understand the controversy if, let's say, Asian Americans were 20% of the population and they took up half a percent of representation on screen. I could understand the controversy there, but really this is an issue that is, it's class grace being, and it's once again trying to fuel this notion that, oh, look at the privileged white people, trying to stir up animosity towards white people, and it's bullshit. It's absolute bullshit. Um, 
And I would say to Rebecca, son, you know, what, what, what's the purpose with this? What exactly are you, are you arguing for? To have an exact number of Asian Americans representative of the exact number of Asian Americans in society? Give me a break. And I mean, this business of, you know, you know, there's a lot of double standards and a lot of mixed messages being sent out. Because on one hand, if you're saying we want people to be representative of wider society, well, in any community, you're going to get a cross section of people, right? But then if you have, for example, um, an Asian American role or a black role for that matter, and it's a negative character, let's say they're a thief or a prostitute or whatever, they're portrayed in a negative light. Then there's all these sort of moral questions about, oh, what about this negative portrayal of that character? But surely you want characters that are portraying a cross-section of people, which includes dubious characters. It includes positive role models and negative role models and basically just a cross-section of people. So so what if there's some negative characters? Surely that's simply realistic to life. And it's like it's... It's this incredible politicization of the world of entertainment, and I just find it irritating, to be quite honest. As a lover of cinema, I don't watch films because of the ethnicity of the actors in it. I watch films as escapism, because I'm interested in the story, because I know the particular actors. And, you know, it goes without saying that there's not the same sort of lecturing going on here of Asian cinema. I mean, you can guarantee these Asian American actors aren't going to be lecturing Chinese cinema or Korean cinema to be more diverse. So, you know, it just I just find it irritating, to be quite honest. Um, I do agree that there shouldn't be whitewashing of roles. I mean, I don't think a white actor should be playing an Asian role in this day and age. I think that would... I agree that's stupid. Um, and I also think, generally speaking, roles should be portrayed by the people who fit that description. So, for example, um, if there's a role of a gay character, it should be a gay actor playing that, of a transgender character, transgender actor. But then again, you the whole point of acting is to portray a role. It's about, it's about fakery in the first place. That's the whole essence of acting, pretending to be something that you're not. I mean, when Leonardo DiCaprio plays um, Robert Glass or Hugh Glass in The Revenant, we know that Leonardo DiCaprio is not really an 1820s mountain man, okay? Um, Countless other examples. Um, Acting is about portraying a role. It's It's about faking what you are. That's the whole point. So th- this idea, the most important thing is that an actor or an actress is um, convincing the role. I believe that is the most important thing. And I do agree there shouldn't be whitewashing of roles. But, you know, all this lecturing of Hollywood, Hollywood, in the end of the day, is an American film industry. And I think there's just this kind of undertone of resentment because it happens to be the world's leading entertainment industry. So maybe instead of spending so much time lecturing Hollywood, why not lecture Chinese or Korean cinema about being more diverse? Well, wait a second. Could it be because low societies are far more homogenous? American society is still majority white, so naturally you're going to have more white actors. That's not racism. It's just... It's just the facts of life. Um, I believe absolutely in opportunity and certainly actors shouldn't be discriminated against. But again, there's mixed messages sent out here because if a director casts, let's say, Asian American actors in Asian roles, then they complain about being typecast. You know, um, certainly there's been British Asians who have complained about that recently. And yet, if white actors were offered those roles, they would say that's cultural appropriation. So, you know, if there's ch- if there's Asian characters in a storyline, what what other choice does a director have? If I'm a director and I have a Chinese character, of course I'm going to cast a Chinese actor, 
or a Chinese American or a British Chinese actor, because I want someone who looks like the role that they are playing. So I think actors need to spend a lot more time acting and a lot less time whinging, quite frankly, because these are very privileged people. You know, A, this actors, even B, this actors, are living on a very comfortable salary that most of us cannot imagine. Now, they work hard. I'm not saying they don't deserve it. They work hard. Um, you know, there's long hours of rehearsals and so on. Um, but I get a little bit tired of actors wanting people to feel sorry for them. Um, like there's some sort of hardship about what they do. Give me a break. Just get on with the business of acting because you're not paid to moralise the public in this way. You're paid to act. That's my view on the matter. Um, and if there is clear-cut cases of discrimination, okay, that's an issue. But I'm sick and tired of this um, politicisation of the world of entertainment, which ultimately, that's what acting is. Okay? Um, yes, there shouldn't be whitewashing of rules that are Asian, but I would respectfully say to Asian-American actors, um, you know, you're not going to get much sympathy when all you're interested in doing is white shaming people, your job is to act, okay? So if you want to entertain people, then just do it. Entertain people. Act. Because this notion that white actors always get exactly the roles they want is nonsense. There's many white actors that have to make sacrifices as well, and they have to pick and choose. You know, when you're starting off in acting, my, I'm not an expert in the industry, but my understanding is that you... You know, like a lot of trades, you have to work your way up. So I know this will be a controversial video, and I know not everyone will agree with what I'm saying. I just, I'm tired of race baiting, and I just don't think it's, I'm not saying all the points that are being made are illegitimate. I'm not saying that I haven't listened to the concerns, and I know there's legitimate concerns. I just feel that this is really, really being driven to a point where it's about now, it's everything. And it seems to me that Asian American actors are spending a lot more time complaining than actually just getting on with the business of acting. Um, maybe that's why they're unhappy, because they're politicising this. I don't know. I might be completely wrong. But in the end of the day, Hollywood's an American film industry. The majority of Americans are white, so, you know, Um, I mean, do you really think a white actor in China is not going to get typecast in the white guy roles? If I'm an actor in China, I'm going to be typecast as a Lao Wai tourist or whatever. And you know what? I couldn't complain about that because I'd have to recognise that's, you know, I'm in the pool of... Because it seems to me if if Asian Americans get cast in the Asian roles, they complain. And if they don't get cast into Asian roles. If white people get cast into those roles, then that's cultural appropriation. So you can't win. Directors are in this position. Producers are in this position where well, they're going to get criticised no matter what they do. So are film studios. So yeah, that's just a few of my thoughts. I know this is politically incorrect. I know it might offend some people. But I think it has to be said. And, you know, um, people could take from this what they will. Um, I just think that it's very off-putting for the public to constantly listen to this complaining. And that, frankly, I, I can't find myself sympathising with multi-millionaires who, frankly, should be spending better use of their time than complaining about it. Give me a break.